Hey guys, we are on page 307 and 308 of our math books. Um, we're going to be doing number one, A and B, and number two, letter A. Uh, we will skip number three, we'll do number four, number five, A, B, and C, number six, letter A, number seven, and number eight, letter A. In this lesson, we're going to be doing some multiplication, but with a three-digit number on the top and a two-digit number on the bottom. Uh, and it has to do a little bit to do also with some carrying. So let's go ahead and do a practice problem real quick. Letter A on page 307, we have 123 times 56. So we're still doing the same thing. We're going to ignore that five and just do six times 123, just like it was a normal multiplication problem. So let's go ahead and do that. Six times three is 18. So we put the eight down here. One goes up here because it's being carried. 6 times 2 is 12, plus the 1 up here is 13. Uh, 1 gets carried up there because it's the next uh, place value over. And then we're going to do 6 times 1 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So 738 goes right here. And we're going to uh, write some more numbers on my next line. Underneath this 8, what number are we writing? Remember, we're multiplying by this 5 right here. 5 is in the tens place value, so I need to write what number right here to show we're multiplying by tens place value. 0, right. 0 goes right underneath that 8. And now we're going to multiply this 5 times 123. So we're going to do 5 times 3, 5 times 2, and 5 times 1. So first of all, let's do 5 times 3. 5 times 3 is 15. Now there's already 1 up there. I don't want to get confused, though. Cross out that one, write another one above it. So five times three is 15. Uh, carry that one, five goes down here. Five times two is 10, plus the one is 11. So 11, uh, we're going to carry the one up here. So cross the one out and write one above it. So we're gonna have a new one. So five times two is 11, carry the one. One gets written down here. And then 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6. So let's go ahead and write that. And then we'll add. 0 plus 8 is 8. 3 plus 5 is 8. 7 plus 1 is 8. And 6 plus nothing is 6. So my answer is 688. My next problem is 349 times 72. I want to see if you can pause the video right now, go ahead and do this problem and see if you're doing it correctly with me. So we're gonna start with two times nine. Remember, ignore the seven, pretend like the seven is not there. Two times, start with nine, is 18, carry the one. Eight goes down there. Two times four, uh, two times four is eight, plus the one is nine, so I'll write that. And two times three is six. So we're writing six right there. Moving on to this seven right there in the tens place. We're gonna do seven times 349. So first thing we're gonna do is write a zero right there. Seven times nine is, uh, let's see. Seven times nine, well we have seven times seven is 49. Seven times eight is 56. 7 times 9 is 63, so 7 times 9 is 63. There's already a 1 right here, so we'll cross that 1 out and write a 6 above it. And then we'll write a 3 right there. Doing 7 times 4 next. 7 times 4 is 28. 28 plus the 6. Hmm. I know 8 plus 6 is 14. So 28 plus 6 has to be... Uh, 34, I believe. So I'm going to write the 3 above the 3 and 4 right there. 4 times, or I'm sorry, 3 times 7 is 21. 21 plus the 3 is 24. Draw a line underneath and add it together. I have 8 plus 0 is 8. 9 plus 3 is... 12, 6, oh wait, I need to carry my 1. I need to carry my 1. So I have 6 plus 4 is 10, plus the 1 is 11. And I carry the 1 again. 
and 4 plus 1 is 5, and 2 plus nothing is 2. So my answer is 25,128. My next problem is a story problem on page 307, number 2, letter A. It says, at the grocery store, mom purchased milk for $3.35, tomatoes for $3.29, two pounds of sliced turkey for $6.98 per pound, and bread for $2.68. How much did she spend in all? So, let's go ahead and put these numbers down. I have milk she spent $3.35 for milk I have tomatoes $3.29 I have two pounds of sliced turkey for $6.98 per pound. So I have $6.98. And I have bread for $2.68. So you might have caught on to something that I did. One of these numbers is not correct. Can you tell me which number is not correct in this? Right, there is two pounds of sliced turkey that was purchased. And I put it down as if it were one pound of sliced turkey. That's this number right here, $6.98. So that number's not correct. So let's go ahead and erase that number. And how am I gonna figure out how much turkey, or how much that turkey costs, should I say? Well, I know that it's $6.98 for one pound, But there was two pounds of it bought. So I could multiply by two to show that there's two pounds of turkey being purchased. And I could say two times eight is 16, carry the one. Nine times two is 18, plus one is 19, carry the one. Two times six is 12, plus one is 13, carry the one or not carry the one, the one doesn't need to be carried, there's no other numbers, but I do need to put a decimal point and a dollar sign. So it's not $6.98, it goes right here, it's $13.96. So $13.96, add it together, I'm gonna go ahead and put that dollar sign right there. And let's go ahead and add these numbers together. So I have five plus nine, well, Actually, first let's do 9 plus 6 because I look at 9 plus 6 and automatically I know 9 plus 6 is 15 and that can work with 15. That's a little bit of an easier number to work with. So 9 plus 6 is 15 plus 5. Well, I know 15 plus 5 is easy. That's 20 plus this 8 down here is 28. So I'm going to put 8 down here. Carry a 2 because it's 28. And I have... Let's see, I have nine plus six again is 15. Uh, plus two is, let's see, 15 plus two is 17. Plus three is 20. Plus two is 22. So I'm gonna put a two down here. Two gets carried because it's 22. And I'm gonna go ahead and add these numbers together. I have one, two, three. Three, I know three times three is nine. It's just three plus three plus three is nine. That's what three times three is. So I'm nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. But I'm not gonna put a one right here because I already have one here, so I need to carry this one as well. I have a bunch of dollar signs, those aren't numbers, so I can't add dollar signs. But I do have one right there, so I have one plus one is two. And of course I do need a dollar sign to show that I'm adding this together. And I'm still missing something. What am I still missing in this problem? It's very important because without it, my answer is $2,328. And I don't think that mom spent that much on groceries. Something tells me she didn't. 
but it does sound a little bit more reasonable if I bring down my decimal point that mom spent $23.28 on groceries. And make sure that you have this written down as your answer. On page 308, number four is a division problem. I usually work these through on the board with you, but today I want to see if you can work through this on your own because you're gonna have a lot of those kinds of problems, specifically these kind of division problems, on your tests later this week, and I want you to be prepared. And if you realize today that you really don't know how to do it, then it's something that can get fixed early this week instead of later, later this week when you do have the test, it's something that's gonna be a problem. So work through number four on your own. If you're having problems with it, then you know that you need to work on fixing those problems. Uh, number five, A, B, and C, I'll work through letter A with you because you will see problems like this on your test as well. Um, it says two quarters plus two dimes. Well, I know that two quarters, I'm just going to put Q for quarters, is equal to uh, quarters, 25 cents each. 25 cents. So I have two of those, so it means I'm going to count two quarters. So counting by 25 is 25, 50, 75, one dollar. I only need two of those, so 25, 50, that's two. So that's 50 cents. I know, I just put, I, I just put $50. I'm supposed to say 50 cents. We put a decimal point right here. And now it's 50 cents. So I have two quarters plus two dimes. Put D for dime. And I know a dime is worth 10 cents. Two of those, if I count by 10, two times, or 10 times two, I have 10, 20. So I have 20 cents. So I have 50 cents plus 20 cents, and 50 cents plus 20 cents is 70 cents. Uh, make sure when you're writing your cents, I would prefer you to write your cents with a dollar sign and a decimal point. Okay, I know that that cent sign, that, uh, that cent sign, C with a line through it, that's easy, that's convenient, but we don't really use that a lot. When, especially when we get into higher math grades, we use this one a lot because it's a lot more common and even like, like out when you're buying something, I mean, you might see this a little bit, but you're gonna see this a lot more. So I want to be more familiar with this, so I want you to write it like this in your books. The rest of this page, I really want you to kind of work on your own. The rest of number five, number six, number seven, and number eight. You're only doing uh, one thing of number six, seven, and eight. So uh, it shouldn't take you too long to finish up this page. And I've really cut out that uh, top part. Um, it probably would be a good thing for you to know the top part. Always uh, try to keep familiar with different kinds of graphs and things like that. Uh, but I'm not going to worry too much about it at this moment. 